with Paul, the Irish Dragon Felder. This kid's fun to watch, and he's got an opportunity to walk home with the belt tonight, Rich. He does, an impressive record of six and oh. The Irish Dragon. See if he can breathe some fire tonight in the cage, Mike Adams. You know, he's got real crisp stand up, real crisp Muay Thai. He shows, he throws nice punches, nice left hook, nice straight right hand. He's a heavy kicker. And he said, once Mark Stevens starts feeling my power, my leg kicks, he's gonna wanna take the fight to the ground. If there's a chank in Paul Felder's armor, it's his ground game. But he's been working on it, he's been working on it hard. He fought Corey Bleakin a few months ago. Corey Bleakin, a standout wrestler. Paul Felder not only held his own, but he actually took Bleakin down in that fight. But uh, Felder's, his bread and butter is a stand up and look for him to keep this fight on the feet, Red. Yeah, and he can throw down with anyone. Top chin, packs power, I believe four out of six wins from strikes. And he also got that win, KO courtesy the knee against Goodrum. Look, I think that was in his debut. Standing across the ring, out of the red corner, weighing in at 155 solid pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul, the Irish Dragon Fowler! All right. Mark, Paul, this is for the Cage Fury Fighting Championships Lightweight Championship. We've been over our rules and our bout conduct in the back. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. If you choose to, touch gloves now. When the bell rings, you're fighting. Well, here we go. A Main event on action. The line. Bill Brookwater, the referee, the man in charge of the chaos in the cage. It's gonna be a dandy, it's gonna be Stevens and Felder. Stevens again with the more solid black trunks, a little more ink, if you will, Mike Adams. And Felder a little more lankier. Scheduled for five. And Mike, tonight's main event brought to you by Azad Watches. Check them out online, www.azadwatch.com, men's premier watches. We'll see if one of these fighters can stop time tonight and win a title. Big head kick that just missed, almost ended the fight in a, in a blink there, Rich. And, and Paul Felder, very experienced kicker. He's been kicking for mo the better part of his life. He feels very confident in his kicks, and he can do damage with them. Yes, he could. We've seen that already this evening with those low leg kicks. Oh! Felder, an excellent counter puncher. Yeah, tried to counter spinning. that kick yeah, came with back a left with, hook. Absolutely, tried to come with a spinning back as well. The Irish Dragon, 6-0, oh, as we alluded to, will throw down with anyone. And Mark Stevens has been working on his ground game, but if he doesn't like it, look for him to shoot. Tell you what, this crowd is absolutely electric tonight in South Philly 2300 Arena. It is a blue-collar crowd with a blue-collar feel and tough fighters inside the cage, exemplifying that toughness of Philly. A little switch kick there by Stevens, blocked by Paul. Paul looks nice and loose in there. Hey, we talked about the height. I don't know if it's going to be an issue thus far. I want to talk a little more about this range, too, because when you got a lanky fighter in there, well, good spinning again, and then he tried to come back around. So you mentioned it, Mike. You actually nailed it right on the head, starting early on. Forget about the feeling out process. You think some jitters in there? No, I think Paul looks great. And of course, Stevens got a lot of experience, but that's a mistake right there. Felder slips. And let's see if Stevens might take advantage of this. Paul just wants to get back to his feet. That's all he wants to do right yeah, here. Yeah, and this is where that, that cage, that, that, that experience in the cage is really going to help Stevens. You know, what I really like Felder doing earlier in that round was the counter punching. That's a big right hand that scored. Yeah. Felder was doing a great job counterpunching Stevens. Dominant position, yep, Stevens on top. Raining some haymakers down. Two and a half to go. And Paul's just gotta relax here. And he's gonna go for, he went for an arm bar here, and Stevens gets out, good job. Oh, he falls right into a choke. <laughs> and that's the experience <laughs> right, right there. Reverse and roll over. 
Paul's got to get out of here. Great job oh, by Paul. Goodness. I'm sorry, Rich. No, 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 my friend. Go right ahead. That was textbook. I thought Paul got, was going to get caught with that choke. Under two to go in a very entertaining opening round one. Oh, scoring with these kicks, that range. Yeah, you see how confident he is with those kicks. They get up high, too. Very flexible scoring. You, it's a, look, when you have a Muay Thai background, too, and you use those kicks, good inside kick there by Stevens. Tries to come back with a left. You can really use it for range and really force your opponent off balance. I think Mark Stevens is impressed uh, with Paul Felder's stand-up. If you could ask him a question right now, I think that's what the answer he would give. Good right there. I think Paul, even, even though he's more, he doesn't have the experience of Stevens, he's the better stand-up fighter. And like I said, too, even though his record's 6-0, he, he, he's better than a 6-0 fighter as far as experience in the cage. Oh, good spinning kick. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Pushed him right off balance. Oh, and he comes with another left. Oh, Stevens was in trouble, but shot in. Trying to take it down to he's the ground. He's got to defend. Mike. I think Paul should just push away here and take this fight back to the feet. Don't mess around on the ground with Stevens. You're having good luck on the feet. Keep it there. Well, both men will rise up. Felder pressed up against the cage. 40 to go. Round number one. I think, oh. Oh, well, you know what? I don't know about that there, Bill. I don't know about that. We got a cut there. Well, good stoppage for a moment. You see that cut. Right I thought, over the eye. I thought Bill Bookwater was actually breaking them apart for yeah. inactivity. They shouldn't stop this. Well, it's here, not a bad cut. Here's the thing. Oh. If that cut, and I want to get a clue, that's a great shot by our crew. It's right up. It's not, it's not near the lid, and it's not really up above the, the brow. It's more or less on the forehead. That's something that you can keep an eye out for. But again, if that is near the lid, then there's trouble there. And they reset them right in the exact same position they were in. And Paul just needs to survive this uh, first round here and not get caught in anything. He looked great in that first round. And the blood again, the cut's <laughs> opening up again, Rich. Yeah, and that's something they're gonna, oh, that was a huge knee. If he, if Stevens escapes this round, they're gonna now really have to take a look at that cut. Oh, that blood is just pouring out. Oh, goodness. Final 10 to see if Stevens can escape round number one. Nice elbow. Oh, another, another one. another elbow. Yeah. And then he drops that head and comes with a knee. Great, great first round, Rich. Well, Whew. I'll tell you what. Bookwater warned Felder about a late knee. But the bottom line is Stevens was able to make it out of that round. Now, the story of this championship fight is going to be if Stevens could continue. And we got to see exactly where that cut is. We've seen championship and title fights get stopped before. If it's near that brow, if it's under the lid, that's a major problem because that's very tough to stop. It looks like that when they, when they patch it up, he's fine. You almost can't even see the cut. And here's the end of the round here, and Paul lands some, some nice short elbows. Late knee too, Right Good there, elbow. and he lands another one here, another one, right on the cut. Watch the knee, right there, so. Stevens threw a knee. Yeah, good counter, and then we saw it. Nothing intentional there. No, 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 so again, Stevens' is corner doing a good job. They're gonna see if they can clean this up. They clean him up well, and like I say, you don't even see the cut, and then the blood appears. Exactly. So Stevens, very game. And again, tonight's main event brought to you by Azad Watches. Check them out online, www.azadwatch.com. And for a moment, I thought time stopped early on in that round, Mike Adams. You know, Paul Felder is fighting mad right now. He looks pissed off. And one of the things he said is he was pissed off by some of the things that Mark Stevens said. Stevens said he thought he was better than Paul everywhere. Paul is pissed off and he's fighting in his backyard. Well, Stevens actually said, quote, you know what, I beat up people for money and that's what I'm gonna do against Felder. So he, he's not showing his opponent respect. Good kick right there. Follows up with another outside kick. Stevens tries to respond with a cheap kick of his own. But you're right, if you don't respect, you don't respect your opponent, it's gonna show. And Felder really taking it to Stevens in that round. Yeah, if you're a young kid and, and you want to watch a, a nice Muay Thai fighter, stand-up fighter, Paul Felder is a great guy to watch, man. He, 
He's very fundamentally sound in there. And he's quick with his feet. And he throws those heavy kicks, those punishing heavy kicks. Right on cue, Mike. You know, the one thing about getting cut, it can either incise a fighter or it can work to their detriment. You taste your own blood that fires you up sometimes. Looks like Paul's wearing some of Mark's blood on his own face there. Oh, good Bye. kick. Oh! Stevens counters with a right haymaker. Put your felder up against the cage. Both these two tough chins, man. Yes, absolutely. Little roll reversal here, Mike. Felder turn, turning uh, Stevens around there for a second. Nice knee. Yep. Three and a half to go, round number two. Slater for five for this title fight. Good knee again by Felder, and that comes with an elbow. He's really good with those short elbows. Very compact, too, doing some damage. And he knows where that cut is, too, Mike. Yeah, he's trying to work it. Again, I think Felder should try to create space here and separate. And Stevens looks like he's getting a little tired. Don't Mouth open. Through in that clinch. So he's going to get the dominant position here. Bookwater keeping an eye on him. Good, good knee strike and followed up with another elbow yeah. by Felder. Felder again comes in with a 6 0 mark. Stevens crafty, 16 and 8. Stevens trying to turn his head away from Felder, trying to turn that cut away from him so he can't land that. I actually think if Stevens drops his left hand, he might be able to spin away. Oh! Good elbow right there, yes. Mike. Mark Stevens only been finished Ooh. by strikes three times in 24 fights. Yeah, Paul Felder is fighting with a purpose tonight. He looks extremely motivated, man. I'm very impressed with him. He's fighting with a chip on his shoulder, rightfully so, after really being caught out. And he's oh, looking for the rear naked. It, wow, wow, uh -oh. this could be it, this Rich. Could be it. This could That's it, that's it, this he's out, it. he's Wait out. For it. He's gonna go, oh, he peels the hand away. Not yet, not yet, Steven's showing some guts. Wow. Bookwater watching him closely for that hand. Wow. Seeing if that hand drops. What's shocking is Stevens isn't even trying to peel the hands well, off. Well, now there's a question if Felder starts raining some haymakers on that cut. See if Bookwater comes in and stops it. Stevens doing the right thing here, trying to hold on, hold Felder down to prevent him from posturing up. And that's all he can do. He's going to try to spin for yeah, Hornbar. He can't absorb any more blows. Oh, oh that goodness. one landed flush. Felder, a little ground and pound. Look at that pool of blood in the cage. Oh, Stevens is in trouble. He's trying to cover up. Mark Stevens is tough. Look at the blood all over the cage. Felder just raining right down. Stevens is tough and scrappy. He's hanging in there. A lot of guts. Now he's covered Felder up a little bit. Felder trying to finish. Bookwater looking closely. See if he steps this could in. Be it. He might stop it here. He's looking closely. That's Gets it. it. Oh, it's all over. What an upset. Dragon breathing fire in the cage wins the vacant CFFC lightweight title. Very impressive, Rich. Very, very impressive performance by Paul Felder. You know, he could have won a decision. This fight could have went to five rounds. He put an exclamation point on this fight and finished a very tough guy to finish, Mark Stevens. Oh, mercy, Mike Adams. Oh, mercy. Someone was breathing fire tonight. Mark Stevens, 24 professional fights. He's only been stopped three times by strikes. Paul Felder made it the fourth. And you just wonder if Paul Felder maybe, maybe found out from a little birdie that Stevens was chirping a lot, and he said, 16 and eight record? Who cares about your 16 and eight record? I'm six and zero. Oh. I'm one of the fastest rising stars in the CFFC. I've come to play. Yeah, man, he looked great. You know what? One thing the UFC looks for when they look at these uh, these up and coming fighters, not only do they look at their record, but they look to see how exciting a fighter is. And Paul Felder has a very exciting style. He likes to keep the fight on the feet. It's fun to watch. He's a great counter puncher. I really enjoy watching this kid fight. Very entertaining, and I was very impressed. Well, that's unbelievable. He's going to get a belt. He's going to earn a title, and you know what that 
besides that belt and that jewelry to stick in the closet or the case or the draw, it gives you cachet. And also it tells the rest of the CFFC, hey, I'm putting you guys on notice as you take a look at the replay here, Mike Adams. There's the finish. He just full mount. Stevens was really, he was hurt here. He was tired. And Paul Felder was just pouring it on. He gave uh, Stevens no daylight to breathe here. Raining down shots. You know, Stevens tough and scrappy. He's as tough as they come. But Paul just poured the pressure on. And eventually, referees saw enough. Had to stop the fight, and it was a good stoppage. It was a good stoppage. You always got to think about fighter safety. My friend, I know you're going to jump inside the ring, and you're going to interview a very victorious Paul Felder. We'll go inside the cage this bout to stop David Sardi. At four minutes and three seconds in the second round, winner by TKO and the new CFFC lightweight champion of the world, Paul the Irish Dragon Builder! All right, I'm here with the new CFFC lightweight champ, the Irish Dragon, Paul Felder. Paul. Mark Stevens has only been stopped by strikes three times in his professional career. That was the fourth time. That was a very impressive performance. Just tell us your thoughts. I know you're very happy right now. I, I mean, I can't even put in the words how happy I am. This was a long, hard <coughs> camp. You know, I just want to thank Daniel Gracie and my whole team, Bozy, Hardback CrossFit, the sled outside doing sprints every day so that we knew we could do this for 25 minutes. I want to thank my family, Aunt Claire, Ken Perry, who are suffering from cancer. This is for them. Their battle is way harder than anything I can do in this case. So thank you, guys. I'm going to keep this as long as I need to until I get the call upstairs, and that's coming soon. You know, you look great. Your stand-up looked absolutely phenomenal. Your counter-striking looked great. You know, Stevens <coughs> didn't, didn't have an answer for it, and eventually we were able to finish him off. Was that what you predicted you were going to finish him that way? You know, I know he was a tough dude, and we had even talked about in the interviews that he he don't even stop by strikes, you know. I thought I had that rear naked choke. And everybody else there like, from my team finished with a rear naked choke, so I really wanted it. But, you know, I'm a Muay Thai guy, and I finally got to show that I don't just watch out for my knees and kicks. You better watch out for the elbows, too, because I'll bust you up with them. Well, watch out, because we got a new lightweight champ here at Cage Fury Fighting Championships. His name's the Irish Dragon, Paul. 